Hello oh guys, how are you? I'm very good here. Uh, it has been a long time since the last video, so here I am to do another video. Um, this time I'm gonna uh, speak about a way of doing a DME arc. And I'm gonna explain to you what a DME arc is and basically how to do it. There is no, uh, there is nothing uh, written in air law about how to do a DME arc. So there are many ways of doing it. This is the way I do it. This is the way I teach it. Um, so uh, with no further ado, let's get to it. Where is my friend's paint? Here it is. So guys, um, first of all, push my face here. The ME arc, basically we have here VOR represented here, a radial here, another radial here, and we have a DME arc here, which is basically maintaining the, um, the same distance um, from the center of the, of the VOR at all times, okay? Always at the same, at the same distance, all right? What we want to do here, it's uh, basically, mm -mm -mm, it's basically to, so we are in a radial, we want to ex change from uh, radial to arc, okay, follow this arc and then exit the arc towards uh, another radial, okay, and um, basically there are uh, two types of DME arcs, which are basically clockwise, okay, like the, the our uh, clocks pointers or counterclockwise okay against the the our clocks pointers all right uh, and um, basically that's it uh, also when you uh, so obviously if you want to enter the 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 clockwise DME arc here you would have to go to the left if you want to go counterclockwise here you would have to go to the right okay once you're inside the arc here then you can leave from arc to radial inbound or arc to radial outbound okay and that's it um, now how do we do this well first of all um, we need to um, know that um, if we want to do this let's enhance a little bit here if we want to get into this arc um, there's a anticipation why because if you wait uh, because let's say that this DME arc is the 15 DME arc okay I'm basically following a radial here and if I start my turn at 15 I will do this and I will overshoot the arc okay and I don't want to do this DME arc here I want to do this one in red so then I would have to correct it okay but what I want to do it is I want to do it well the first time so I want to come from here and with a certain anticipation I want to turn left and intercept the radio the sorry the um, the DME arc and this anticipation is done by this formula here ah, it's better to show you like this okay so basically arc entry anticipation it's basically 0 0.5 percent of the the ground speed all right and this is a really simple uh, calculus because um, you can just calc uh, calculate 1% and divide it uh, by 2. Um, let me give you an example. Imagine that you are at uh, 110 uh, knots. Okay? What happens is that 1% of this value, it's really simple. It's just take out two zeros. Okay? It's gonna give to you give to 1.1 1 .1, okay and 0.5 percent is equal to half of 1 percent right so it's this 1 percent divided by 2 so it's this 1.1 1 .1 divided by 
2. So this is uh, going to give you 0 0.55. Okay, if you divide this by 2, it's going to give you 0 0.55 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, so um, when you um, when you uh, yeah yeah sorry I was doing my math yeah so I'm tired just came from uh, just came from work but um, yeah I think my math is right um, so guys this is gonna approximately give 0 0.6 all right this one is gonna give 0 0.0.6 0 .6. so um, what I mean here is that 0 0.6 nautical miles all right this is the anticipation in nautical miles it's what says here 0 0.6 nautical miles before and if I'm going at 110 knots okay I will have to start my turn so here, the, the green aircraft will have to start turning 0 0.6 nautical miles before in a standard rate turn to end up uh, inside the DME arc. All right, let's go back so I can have this board cleaned. Hello. Okay. So. All right, so 0 0.6 nautical miles before I'm going to turn left and enter the DM Yak. Uh, but now I have another problem, is that to exit the DM Yak, this one it's uh, represented inbound, you can also leave on a radial outbound. But the question is, if I zoom in here, the question is, what's this anticipation here? Okay, because if, if I don't do this, this anticipation, what happens is that I'm going to hit the radio and do, imagine that I want to catch it uh, or intercept it inbound. I'm going to overshoot like that or outbound. If I hit the radio, if I reach the radio and then I want to intercept outbound, this one, well, that's what's going to happen. So we need to have here some anticipation so that if I do it, so if I start my turn here, I'm going to intercept it on point. All right. Once again, there's a formula for this. To be honest, there, there are a lot of formulas. This is just the one I use. I find it uh, quite simple after you, you use it uh, for a long time, which is basically arc exit anticipation. 0.5% of the ground speed, which you already have, you already calculated before to enter the arc, times 60 divided by the DME arc distance. All right. Um, this might seem difficult, but it's not. Why? For instance, in our cruise speeds, in the aircraft that I usually uh, fly, let's let me do something here. Usually we work at, let's say, 100 knots, um, also, but let's say it's 110, 120, um, and so on. We, we never go over this on a, on a DME arc, but let's say, let's say we do 130, and let's say, for example, sake that we go at 90. Okay, so... Um, the first, the first um, math, the, the first uh, math that you're going to do it's 0.5 percent out of these, all right? Which in this case it's going to be 0.45, which is going to be rounded to 0.5 percent. For 100, it's going to be 0.5 again. This is going to be 0.55, so let's round it up to 0.6. What I'm doing here, it's just uh, 0.5% of these values, okay, and I'm going to put them in front here. So this one, it's going to be 0.6 and this one 0.7. So you end up with just actually, uh, in my aircraft, three values, okay, which is 0 0.6, 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. Okay, so let, let's take these values, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. And so these are the values that 
you're going to reach in the first uh, calculation here. And then you need to multiply it by 60. Okay, let's let's do that. Oh, sorry. I have to hit X times 60. This one times 60. And finally, 0 0.7 times 60. My friends, this might seem difficult, but it is not. Why? In the right um, number, you have one added zero. And in the left number, you have one zero, um, less one zero, let's say it like that. So if you cut the zeros, you're going to end up with this really simple calculation. Okay? Which is here, it's going to be 30. And here, it's going to be 36. And here, it's going to be 42. Okay, and then these numbers you just need to divide by the DME arc. If it's 10, perfect. This would be 3, 3.6, 4.2. If it's 20, half that value, and etc. And you can do it uh, like this. But let me uh, give you the, the same example that I gave. Um, let, sorry, just checking the, the time of the video. All right, uh, let's give the same example that I just gave. Um, in the DME arc entry, if you go at 110 knots, so here, 110, 0.5 percent of 110, it's going to be 0 0.55, which is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times 60, it's going to be 36. And 36, let's say that it's the, um, I don't know, 12 DME arc. Okay, if it was the 12 DME arc, okay, it would be simple, it would be um, 3 in this case, because 36 divided by 12, it's going to be 3, and uh, then you can find round numbers um, about, uh, about these values, okay, uh, but you can even uh, go deeper into it, like if it's a 10 DME arc, I never saw uh, the AMIAC uh, smaller than 10 in practice in any approach or something in aviation. Uh, it might be, but well, if it's a 10, if it's a 10 the AMIAC here, this uh, uh, this value so 36 divided by 10, it's going to be 3.6. And if you have um, 20 nautical mile the AMIAC, this it's going to be 1 1.5 point, uh, 1 plus 4 1.9. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, 1.5 by 0.4, yeah. Um, no, sorry, 1.8. It's 1.5 plus 0.3, yeah. So it's gonna be between four and two, uh, four and two degrees, um, depending if it is a 10 DME arc or a 20 uh, DME arc, okay. So it's around, it's from, it's either it is two degrees um, or three degrees or four degrees. So more or less about, about that. So um, whatever you can, you can practice it by, by yourself. Okay, guys, all these, all these uh, calculations and all these formulas, you can do it your, your own way. And um, well, that's basically it. This is basically what we're going to do. We're going to calculate the first thing that uh, that we do when we uh, there, there is some, uh, that when we want to get uh, into a DME arc, it's just to calculate the entry uh, anticipation. And once you are inside the arc, um, what we want to do, it's just to, to calculate the exit um, anticipation.